Hello, hello, everybody. Load up some more Icewind Dale. And we are back. Looks like outside East Haven. Hello. No, actually. There we go. Finally it popped up. I was going to say it looks like we're outside EVs, but it looks like we're in the north... Excuse me, the northwestern part of East Haven. This is like kind of where we started. We're still all buffed up from our last thing. This was, uh... Look like Rothgar's house was over here. Cyclops everywhere. That's oh, Jonin. Thank the gods you've returned. I don't know what happened, but the giants came out of nowhere and the ice rose from the earth. They took them to a camp. They tore timbers out of the buildings and used them as a stockade in the southeast corner of town on the island. We have to free the villagers. Everard's among them. He may know of a way into the tower. I saw the giants drag him into the tower, then return him to the camp. I don't even know if he was breathing. Yeah. It's healed. I simply fell asleep with it on the table beside me one night and in a dream it melted together. When I woke it was restored. Gave me the blade. Oh, stored blade of Ihonin plus five. This once shattered blade lay in the breast of Ikasaract, the last white dragon matriarchs that ruled the spine of the world. It was wielded by Ihonin, a distant ancestor of Jonin, the fisherman in East Haven. The sword has lain at the bottom of the lake for almost a century, waiting to be returned to one of its wielder's bloodline. How it has been restored to its original state is unknown, but whatever the reason, it looks like a powerful weapon that can help you free East Haven from Brother Pokemon. The blade seems to draw its strength from Lactinishir itself. As long as the wielder is within a dragon's flight distance of the lake, the blade is a fearsome weapon. Oh. Is, I'm sad we don't have any longsword users. As long as they're within distance of Lake Dinashir. Like it's still that even though he doesn't really have the uh, proficiencies with it, it still does a ton. I send quick text. All right. Put that in there. Let's get some levels up in. <laughs> Three hit points, arm plus zero, okay. Additional spells, level four, five, and seven, so four. Oh. Negative plane protection. I wonder whether Pokemon will use some of that. Let's go champion strength. Now let's go greater restoration. It seems to be the back here and unfailing endur endurance so that's a good we can raid or restore somebody and then unfailing endurance on ourselves that's good <clears throat> shall mage four five and six quarter staff in case we find any good quarter staffs for him to use it's one more level and we're back Although I don't know, I can't remember if it has to be equal to or greater than, and we're back to the good stuff. <laughs> I 
Fire shield. Level six. <clears throat> Freezing spear, power one silence. Let's do anti magic shell. Could be kind of dope to throw on himself and then have him just keep attacking with his axe or whatever it is. Level five. Do domination. Domination. <clears throat> Got the reborn blade. Achievement. The squirrel's still alive. There's Cradle Tavern. Oh, we can still go into the tavern. Are you ready for me? Can't go into the shop. See. We haven't found any magical short bows, have we? Maybe one? <clears throat> she got level 4 spells. Giant insect. Sorry, getting a lot of text messages right now. Gotta stop doing that. Produce fire. Weird. It's like building a campfire. Smashing wave. Thorn spray. What is, why would this be a thing? Oh, I guess one per point of level of the caster.
all of woodland being that kind of sounds good Just summon another spellcaster to assist us confusion mass cure mental domination it's not bad Absol. Something sinners, man, the attack. Back, let's see if Quimby has anything to say. Quimby! In the end, free of charge. You know, I'm beginning to think you're obsessed with the idea of monsters eating you. <laughs> We should rest soon. I'm dying to get out Fish, of this place. Away. Okay, that's it. We get to sleep. If I have to take another step, my feet will fall off. I'm tired of trotting around Thanks, like a damn Let's go see what's in the inn. Mule. Let's find an inn Must and some rest. warm beds. So fight. <gasps> ah! Hey, what are you doing down here, old Jed? <laughs> hey there, matey. We're done for. <laughs> He's drunk. Jed. Sleep in here? Yeah. Cannot. Tower of Krishal Tirith. Oh. You have found your way in, I see. I will attempt to open the passageway below to Jared's stone, but these glyphs are born of Tempest himself. It may be beyond my power. If you would help, climb this tower. See if there is another way to Jared's stone. To the if I have to take climb the tower. step, my feet will fall off. Ah. I'm tired of trotting around like a damn mule. Let's find an inn Must and some rest. warm beds. So this would probably be a safe place to rest, huh? That's I'll take that as a hint. Upkeep and a crystal sentry. This is Pomab. The Nine Hills region. Much has changed since you last visited East Haven. Now, as you can see, I run this town. <laughs> yeah. Can even run a decent shop, let alone an entire town. <laughs> Master has. You have no idea what you're up against. The Master has many forms, or many names, many forms. His power is beyond imagination. You cannot hope to defeat him. Why not just surrender yourselves to me? At least I would be merciful and grant you a quick death. Death. Yeah, you're no monarch. I think he'd put a fool like you in charge. Yeah, what service would you offer? Removing certain obstacles so things would go smoothly. Oh, so he proposed the expedition. That's a rip, dude. What are you doing? So yeah. Can I tell you how pleased I was to see my little ploy succeed? I nearly laughed myself to tears as your expedition charged off into the mountains, leaving East Haven defenseless and ripe for the taking. Yeah. 
Yeah, you betrayed us all for what? Hate me? They should be grateful to me for their lives. If I had not entered into this bargain, Hrothgar and all those other fools would have resisted. Every man, woman, and child in town would have been butchered in the streets. You are no hero, Palmeb. You're nothing but a weak-willed man who has foolishly taken the side of evil. But it's not too late for you. Help us now, and you may yet live to find redemption. I don't know. Redemption? I have no desire for redemption. I now possess all that I have dreamed of. Guilt is but a small price to pay for such power. I'll not stand here and be judged by you. You are nothing. You are but an insect that I shall squish beneath my boot. Entries, slay them. That's rude. Something amiss? Oh. Stone skin up. Yes. Chain lightning that business. Yeah. I suppose I got some time to kill. Oh. So these freaking. She still got her piercing arrows on. He doesn't have magical. Is he okay? Hey. Har, har, har. Ow. Over here, healing, please. Okay. Don't let me die. Your time draws near. May the gods have mercy on you. The immune false pomab. What this pomab? Is the only one that's taken. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the only way to kill them is the I have to find the real Pomab. False Pomab. That's Pomab, that's the real one. I got this fight figured out. Let's try it one more time without buffing up. Well, looks like I'm. I know the routine. Show me a target, and I'll smash it. It's false spell now. That one's spell now. Oops. Can I wear I'm invincible? Okay. It cannot be. Stay back. I guess we're killing him. Don't skin up. I guess I could have used up protection from electricity here. Ah. 
Maybe. False bomb man. False bomb man. That's the real one. There it is. Stupid wand of lightning. Suck it, Poe Map. Jerk. Dang. Are we getting hit? Like, what's. Crystal Sentry. I guess maybe it was the Stone Skin? Because I think they were attacking her, but Stone Skin. Saved her, it looks like. Wand of Lightning, why not? 99 charges. Stupid Pomab. Hmm. I am still trying to force the glyphs. Have you found anything? Keep looking then. There's nothing you can do to help me here. Right. I guess that was just one side of it. Uh, another. Another exit in here? Am I missing something? Ladder. That's what I'm missing. Our characters have been exported. Oh! Suspended in midair above this small stone dais, dais is the image of a gleaming shard of crystal. Strange bluish light radiates from the image, forming a luminescent curtain of energy that bars your passage across the room. I can't go to it. Oh, my characters were exported. That means we're up on the final fight here. Look. You again. I admire your persistence. But come now. I think it is time you accepted the fact that it is not within your power to stop me. There is no need for such empty threats. The only reason you are still alive is because I well, no, want we... you to witness this historical moment. Kicked his butt pretty handily over there. Uh oh. Behold! The circle is complete! Undone so long ago has been done once more. The doors to the lower planes have been thrown wide. Uh, and that's where the that intro is from. It opens the portal to and the lower now planes. Now my brethren are free to plunder this world for its immortal spoils. Soon the ranks of the Blood War Army will swell with thousands of fresh souls. Hold, Pokalin. It will take more than boasting to bring you victory this day. Whoever oh, arts here to save the day. Jared Stone. I have never seen it. The glyphs, they dissolved once I felt tempest within me, calling me to battle. I know now what I must do. What Jared had to do. Tempus. 
The tale of Jared Stone is a lesson in sacrifice. Sacrificing oneself so that others might live. That was Jared's choice. It has taken me a long time, too long, to realize the nobility in such a gesture. Insert us, culture, Imperium! Kicking his butt. so easily the priest has done nothing but delay the inevitable I still possess the secrets of unlocking the portal it is only a matter of time before I open the gate once more over over on the contrary my time has only just begun you've only just begun Yes. I think a haste is probably a good first yeah. thing to do. Maybe I can hit one of these with an autolux. Protection from evil is not bad either. Poison your weapon, call your shots. Iron Golem. Ooh, oh, traps. Dispelling traps all over. Sucks so bad that I wasn't able to get him to back to his level before the final fight. Oh no, I should have definitely done it at level 9. Like, for sure. Fit if we don't, you don't recognize that that's the same guy we had to fight in Siege of Dragon Spawn, playing Baldur's Gate. My enemies all the best. Yes. So. This weapon is ineffective against Belafet. Unfortunately, Harold is. Harold's got nothing to help us during this fight. Ah, oh, that sucks. Is there nowhere I can get some last minute, like, powerful bolts? I think I definitely need her for this fight. The magical arrows plus that crazy Thacko. Mm. Let me skip through this. We do have to unfortunately you watch the cutscene every time. I admire your persistence. Perhaps you are nauseated by the realization that my actions, however appalling, uh, that's the problem with you mortal. When will you ever learn that there oh. is no black and white? You call me evil. What is it that I have done that affronts your moral sense of true? I've destroyed a couple of towns here and there. But since the beginning of time, men have done that and more. You call it war, and suddenly it is no longer morally depraved. As for a corrupter of men, those that have allied with me did so of their own free will. Not true. Those I guys were corrupted by that the idol. Path. The choosing is always left up to the mortal. Well, you cannot make wine without crushing a few grapes. 
The elimination of the old druid was a necessary means to an end. I care nothing for ruling this miserable land. The scope of my desire is far beyond your mortal comprehension. I exist solely for the purpose of corrupting the corruptible. To me, this world is nothing but a fertile field. A vast crop of temptable souls. And now, it is harvest time. Consider yourselves fortunate. You alone shall witness this historical moment. Hold, Pokolin. It will take Hold, more than Pokolin. boasting to bring you victory this day. Jared Stone. The glyph. The tale of it's Jared Stone is a lesson in sacrifice. Sacrificing oneself so that others might live. That was Jared's choice. It has taken me a long time. Too long. To realize the nobility. Fools! I still put oh. oh, uh, On the contrary, my time has only just begun. Yes. Man, Oh my god, they just crushed her. Can I help? On it. Oh jeez, this fight is something else. Well, we have the ability to win the fight. Hmm. Can't buff up beforehand. You again. Escape. I am. I have. I. I. And now. It is harvest time. Consider yourselves <coughs> fortunate. You alone shall witness. This historical behold! Hold, Pokolin. It will take more than boasting to bring you victory this day. Jared Stone. The, the tale of Jared Stone is a lesson in sacrifice. Sacrificing oneself so that others might live. That was Jared's choice. It has taken me a long time. Too long. I still over. Over? On the contrary, my time has only just begun. He's gonna have to use his dagger because it's.
Here. Um, bomb. Does he have that bleeding wound? Why he keeps taking damage? Or is that Beatrice that has that? Beatrice has the bleeding wound, okay. Let's see if she can heal Yorlin. Heal him because he's invisible. F that dude. Oh man. Okay. Um. Where are they? No problem. Alright, we need these polar bears right now. Uh, you know what? I I don't know what I'm doing. I have mummy tea. Please don't let that trap kill her. Oh my gosh, that was close. He's got his defensive stance on.
blindness, deafness, and disease. An antidote. Wait, hold on. Antidote and the mummy's tea, but I think we're about to win. Defeated at last, the stricken demon fell with a roar that shook the walls of the underground chamber. But the hero's moment of victory was short-lived, for as the form of their vanquished enemy lay broken upon the floor, so too was the power of the shard broken. The companions soon found themselves scrambling to escape as the fortress began to collapse around their ears. No sooner had they emerged from the secret threshold than the entire tower came crashing down, shattering into a million pieces. That looks like Phaedrus and then Yorlin back there, probably. Triumphantly, the party of adventurers stood among the ruins, basking in the glory of final victory. And as the first rays of dawn glittered off the scattered fragments of the crystalline tower, a light snow began to fall over the once again peaceful town of East Haven. And so ends the final chapter in my tale. With the forces of good triumphant over the forces of evil. It wasn't long before the destroyed town of East Haven was rebuilt, and a new temple dedicated to Tempus was erected upon the site of the buried portal. As for the vanquished demon, Berifet, defeated on the prime, he was banished back to the depths of hell, where he languished for a period of a hundred years, tormented by the memory of his mistakes, and waiting for the day he would return to Pharaoh and exact his revenge. <laughs> yes, yes. Whoa. Well, I guess that's kind of cool. That's what that we, uh, they kind of tied that into to Siege of Dragon Spear. So I don't know if there's anything, I'll look it up real quick, but I don't think there's anything else. I don't think Bel Hafet shows up in anything else. And so kind of tying him into the Siege of Dragon Spear is like, you know why he never, because obviously he was driven enough to, I guess he, you know, defeated at the Battle of Jared Stone, and then driven enough to, driven enough to come back and create this portal, you know, do the whole Brother Pokeland thing, and now he's banished again. Let's see here. Awful evil. One sec, I gotta sneeze. Ooh, that was close, barely close. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so here we go, and I, I didn't realize in Icewind Dale 2, he impregnated an elf that gave birth to the 
half fiend twins that you uh you fight in Icewind Dale too, so that's that's his connection to Icewind Dale too. I see. <laughs> now I think the, the only thing is let's start the Heart of Winter. Time within its swirling mists lies the knowledge of all things, past and future, endings and beginnings. It is all here, hidden from view waiting to be revealed to those who have eyes to see. Far to the north. Okay, beyond... hold on. That was that's all going backwards. Let me restart that. Um I'm gonna look up something else real quick. Let me see here. <laughs> that looked like it was, as you could tell, it was like not a uh... Within its swirling mists lies the knowledge of all things, past and future. Okay, yeah, it looks like the Ends video is going faster than the text here. So that's okay. It is all here, hidden from view, waiting to be revealed to those who have eyes to see. Far to the north. Beyond the wind-swept peaks of the spine of the world. Beyond the realms of men who call themselves civilized. Dwell a people whose way of life is built upon the gift of sight. Among the tribes of the Uthgard, the visions of a shaman serve to guide his people through the fog of an uncertain future. So it was with Yoldare, elder and shaman to the tribe of the bear. For it was his visions that foretold the return of a slain king, awakened from the halls of death by a spirit consumed by vengeance. His vision carried him across the tundra to a place where men built their homes beneath an ancient oak with branches that stretched skywards to embrace the clouds. It is here that his vision showed him the faces of the strangers that would journey far across a sea of ice and snow. To the frozen north, these heroes would come, drawn into a twisted maze of shared destinies that would lead us all into the cold and terrible heart of winter. Never see. I've never haven't played Heart of Winter. Just be all right. So hold on. We're actually going to figure something out real quick. I'm going to go back. So I'm going to load this old party real quick. Certainly. 
Okay, so we're back in here. Check it out. I've got a pretty similar party. See, look, I've got an old version of Yorlin, get a druid, uh, Kensai. Kensai with long swords. Would have been neat. We got Melnor, Priest of Lathander, and Oliver, and Irina the Dragon Spawn, older version of her, too. There we go. What is he? He's a fighter thief, gotcha. As you wish. Getting attacked by a shadow. I'm just gonna run away from it. There's a guy in Koldahar that I forgot about. That um man blocking our people here. Seriously. Coming up. <laughs> and I can't remember his name, and I'm having trouble looking him up. But we're, I'm just gonna go look him up real quick. And. Just for a clean split on the vods, I'll probably I'll probably end it after I find that, and then I'll I'll start up Heart of, Win Heart of Winter in the next uh, next video. So let's see what is this guy's name? As you wish. This guy in this house, I believe. Shoulder. What is Hilder's deal? You have returned. Again, it is as the vision foretold. Okay. Okay, so there we go. We can actually start this Maybe guy well. from Heart of I shall Winter. I here until you return. Mark well the passage of time. But there's also one other quest I forgot to do that we can't go back and do. I'll just show it off real quick. Well, I mean, why not? Certainly. My son. Oh, this is the... See, look, this is the Arl Priestess, the chick. It shall be done. You had need of me. Certainly. Oh, she left. So here's a, here's another quest. Keep your damn horses stable. I'll get you know. Uh, oh, what is this? Some sort of magery? I'm just surprised to see you facing Koldahar is all. Thought I'd never see another customer. The pass is buried in snow as it is. I must be looking for some fierce. Something fierce to brave the winter's chill like that. Well, you're in and out of luck. We don't have any rooms. But that pug nosed knee high at the evening shade, Aldwin, has some rooms for let if you're interested. Better hope you have enough coin, though. I doubt a pile of gold would be enough for that copper clenching mole. I take it you don't like halflings. It has nothing to do with him being a half, half a man. If so, then most of Koldahar would be guilty. It's his manner, that ill-mannered excuse for a gunny sack came into ownership of that inn recently. It's queer it's a queer thing how he did it too. Well, the previous innkeeper, Aiden, is one of the folks who's gone missing of late. The thing is, he's one of the only ones that seems to know he was going to go missing. Because he left a claim on who to pass the inn onto in case he needed to be put to sleep with a shovel. And barely a day after he's gone, Alduin shows up like a winter wolf out of the fresh fallen snow, with the claim in his paws and sets up shop. Pretty as you please. 
sounds like one man's misfortune is another's good fortune. What else do you know about it? Well, I knew Aiden, and the fool was a right enough fellow. But he had the palsy so bad he couldn't even write his own name, much less a claim. And that's even if he was in the know about his letters, which he wasn't. Strange. You've been very helpful. So. I remember this quest from when I played the game way back when, but I never... And I, I remembered vaguely something about it. I just never remembered how you started it. And I thought I would run into it at some point, various chapters, going back, uh, you know, at, at very, some point going back to, um, I thought at some point I would go back, and at some chapter I could talk to, talk to the halfling about it, but that wasn't the case, obviously. As you wish. I was like, hey, what's going on? Yeah, why? Somebody's saying something different? Imagine you bought this in from Aiden. Amelia, that dried up serving wench with the voice like a harpy? Yeah, I know her, and she's right. I did buy this place from Aiden, and I'm beginning to see why the old dodger wanted to sell this in and vanish right quick. Well, he stuck me with this hole and not much business to be had. Winter's choked off all the passes, so that means no caravans and no business. I hope old Aiden got buried in a snowdrift or used as a chew bone by an ogre. Hmm. Anyway, claim's mine, so I got to make do. Aiden wrote that claim to you? Yeah. Written in pen and ink. Legally binding. Every I dotted it and every T crossed for any fool to see, so... Well, Aiden had palsy. But you knew that, right? So if this claim was written to you, of course, assuming that Aiden would knew, knew how to write, which he didn't, then the script would hardly be as perfectly written as you say. Old Aiden must have got someone to write it for him, then, because it looks in order to me. It's not so unheard of to have others write claims for you. All I know is the claim's mine. Now, do you want a room or not? If not, then get out. Yeah, if we can find any proof of this suspicion. Hmm. I am but certainly... Sure. Stud and necklace. Aiden's legacy ring. Okay. See, this simple silver ring bears an inscription on the interior. Looks like the inscription was carved there by an expert silversmith. To the people of Koldahar, should evening fall upon me and my life be no more, I leave the evening shade to you. Please take care. Please care for her as I did. Aiden, the last of the line of Kayvon. That sounds like some yes. proof right there. As you wish. As you wish. Hey, buddy, what's this all about? This ring has an inscription on the inside that looks like the real claim to this inn. Why would you be the owner when this claim says different? Oh, so now you stoop to forcing your way into locked containers in people's houses, have you? Before you accuse me of doing anything wrong, maybe you should look at yourself. What are you doing breaking and entering? Oh, so you know it was locked upstairs. Uh, no, no, I, I didn't know it was locked upstairs. Look, I don't have to explain anything. You're right. I will take Aiden's ring to the elders of the town and let them decide how to deal with this. Perhaps they should call on Aiden's shade with the ring and speak to him about this. Justice must be served. Hold on, here's what happened. First off, I never laid a hand on Aiden, so Aiden is dead. Well, yeah, but it's not my fault. I come into the inn one night after barely making my way through Koldahar Pass. See, and there he is, lying on the floor of the inn, cold as stone. Now, I'd been through the pass before, even talked with the old fool a bit, and I knew he didn't have any family. What do you do with the body? There had been rumors of people missing, so I buried the body outside of town, and then, well, I dug up some pen and ink and set up the claim. Granted, I stripped him of his belongings, and I should have thrown away that damn ring. But look, I'm not doing any harm. I didn't have any family, and this town needs an inn. Yeah. Why'd you do it? Probably won't be able to sell this place. The season closes off caravan routes to turn any profit. I don't know, it's just that... I don't know, I'm sick of traveling. 
and I suddenly got the urge to settle. Blame the halfling in me, I suppose. At least I didn't try to plant myself in some glorified mold brew and smoke a stinkweed pipe until I die of boredom. Well, it's good you didn't hurt Aiden. You shouldn't have hid the body and falsified the claim. There were people here that probably knew him and cared for him, and they wouldn't have liked to they would have liked to pay their respect. Besides, as Aiden's ring state, the inn belongs to Koldahar, not you. What you did was wrong. <laughs> yeah, well, before you start getting any more preachy on me, it seems that you need to stop your habit of breaking and entering. That stinks of a thief, and by my reckoning, that puts us on about the same level. Fair enough. Nevertheless, I want you to speak with the town elders and let them know what you've done. If you don't, I will speak to them, and it'll be worse for you in the long run. What's keeping me from getting out of town? Well, you won't get far. An avalanche has sealed off the pass, and plus there are raiders scouring the mountains. Just confess to the elders. Alright, damn it, I'll go speak to them. Stop bothering me. There we go. He's gonna go talk to the elders. Oh, that's a, it's a pretty simple quest, but that was a lot of experience that I missed out on. 64,000, so double that. What is that? 12,900? I missed out on that in my game. That would have been some easy peasy experience. But with that, that's the uh, that's going to be Icewind Dale, the base game complete. And I will catch you guys back here next time for uh, the start of Heart of Winter. Take care, have a good one.